Hello everyone. Welcome to today's sections. My name is Ko Chen Li. Today, we are going to discuss more about search engine optimization techniques to power up your website. The main idea of SEO is to get your website rank higher in the search results. When dealing with the small business website promotions, you will like your page or site to be as high as possible in the search engine results. In these sections, we will look at how to do SEO and then optimize the sample web page to show how it's done. And here are today's outlines. First, we will talk about SEO rules that we can follow. Although search engines like Google would never reveal the search algorithms, Still, we can find some clues that help to improve your web search rank. To follow along, we will focus on the most important elements, meta-elements, that related to SEO. We will look at the important attributes of the meta-elements After that, we will look at some software that can help us to do SEO. We will first check out desktop SEO, then the online SEO software. Finally, the submission software that help us to submit our SEO web, web page. In the end of the sections, we will show you an example that using the techniques we have talked about to do SEO to our web pages. And because Google and the other search engines don't release their algorithms for determined page ranking, SEO is something of an art. Also, keep in mind that although SEO makes pages more appealing to the search engine robots, spiders, they scan the internet. Your pages are really targeted to people not robots. Here are some rules for SEO. Press your keywords in the meta elements with the name attributes set to keywords. Metadata is data information about data. The meta tag provides metadata about the HTML documents. Metadata will not be displayed on the page, but will be machine possible. Meta elements are typically used to specify page descriptions keywords, author of the documents, less modified, and other metadata. The metadata can be used by browsers, how to display content or reload page. Search engines, keywords, or other web services. 
complete information on creating meta elements is coming up in the next sections in these chapters. Separate your keywords with com commons. Each keyword can actually be multiple words, such as townhouse living. You are allowed 1,000 characters of keywords. And you should use most of them. Place the descriptions of your page in the meta elements with the name attribute set to descriptions. Complete information on creating meta elements is coming up in the next sections. You are allowed 250 characters of descriptions. And you should use most of them. Do not stop keywords here, which search engine don't like. And use natural language. Use some of your keywords, the ones you consider the most important. In your title elements, inside the head element, the most important keyword should start at character one in the test in the title element. Also use the keywords you used in the title element in the body element, or the search engines may suspect you of keyword stuffing, your title. And use at least five of your keywords in the body of your page. But don't have too many keyword occurrences known of keyword spannings. An SEO application can tell you if you have too many keyword occurrences in the body. Sites that have multiple pages linked to each other do better in the rankings. And make sure all your pages are accessible via link so robots can find them. For multi-page sites, link to your other pages and use keywords in the text of each link. Search engines give great importance to seeing if other pages and sites link to yours. This is of primary importance for your rank. If more people link to your page, search engines will consider your page more important. Do not, however, sign up for link funds, which host links just to fool search engines. The search engines have gotten wise to such tricks. The sites that links to yours should be relevant to yours. The earlier you use keywords in your body elements, the better. Starting at character one is best. You should put some of your keywords in the body elements in bold with the B elements. Calling land red using the phone elements is also good. Consider using the test form from your title elements, which is displayed in the search results in the first headers in your page, which tells the search engine people who click your listings 
in their search results that they have come to the right place. Do not use the same word for word titles on different pages in your site. Your pages might look the same to the search engines and be considered as one page. Do not create robot-only pages called doorway pages. Search engines will lower your rank if you do. Include keywords in the odd attributes of image elements. The odd text is displayed when you hover the mouse over the image. This is very important. If you have a top or left navigation bars of links, consider using test links. Let the search engines can read instead of or in addition to images. Otherwise, the search engine may think your actual keyword-rich content starts too late in the page. Make sure your site or page loads quickly. If it times out, it won't be indexed and avoid too much PDF. Not all search engines robots can read PDF. Google is a notable exception. Use the hyperlink a element's title attributes to add descriptive text to your links. And use keywords in those titles. There is like adding keywords to the odd attributes of an image element. To create links to your site, let the search engine robot will see. Consider creating a blog or end linking to the pages on your site. And keep the blog up to date. Some other rules like stick with text and graphics as much as possible and don't get too fancy search engine can read fresh. For example, so you should probably limit the use of fresh and make sure all web pages in your site have links to the site's homepage and include copyright and about us pages on your site. And don't use hidden or invisible text in an effort to cram more keywords into a page. Search engines will penalize your rankings for this tactic. And use a different orders for your keywords in the body of a page not the same order as in the meta elements. And avoid the use of text on a page's background. And do not submit identical pages. They use different URLs. More like validate your HTML to make sure search engine robots can read it. 
and consider using CSS style sheets for the display aspect of your page. Search engine robots seems to like that because all the display aspect of your page has been removed from the content, making the content more accessible. That's the SEO list from the viewpoint of a search engine robot. Want to see your page as a search engine robot would? Try loading it into a test-only browser, such as links. If there is too much extraneous material, before the actual content of your page starts. Take that as a warning. Note that Google and Yahoo allow you to use a robot.txt file, which is XML, to let their robots index your site more quickly and completely. And HTML meta elements are important for SEO because such elements let you give the search engine the keywords you want to be connected to and the descriptions of your page. Here are attributes of the meta elements. Content. Required attributes giving the content of a name equal value pair. The actual value you use depends if you are using the name or the HTTP equip attribute. The next one is DIR. Give the directions of directionally neutral test. Test they doesn't have inherent directions in which you should read it. Possible values, LTR. Left to right test or table. And RTL right to left, test of table. Next, we are going to look at is HTTP equip. Connects the content attribute to an HTTP header field. If a browser asked for the page, the value of the content attribute will be passed to the browsers as part of the HTTP header. The next is ID. Unique alphanumeric identifier for the tag, which you can use to refer to it. Another attribute is length, best language used for the tag. Then the next one is name. Connect the content attribute to a name, such as keywords. When the browsers or other agents request the data connected to the name, the value of the content attribute will be sent the last one we are going to look at is the schema. Specifies a, a predetermined format to be used to interpret the content attribute value. To tell the search engine what keywords your page should be found under. 
set the meta elements name attribute to keywords and assign the words and phrases separated by commons in a single test string to the content attributes and you have 1,000 characters. And look at the example we showed in the slides. And you should also add human readable descriptions to your web page with the name attribute set to descriptions. And assign the description strings up to 250 characters through content attributes. Look at the example shown on the slide. You can also force the browser to refresh the current page after a few seconds this way. It refreshes the current page after five seconds, for example. When you are creating a chat room, and want to refresh the display with what others have been typing. And there is also SEO software available that will tune your web pages. Let's take a look at that. Here are a couple of desktop SEO programs that you can buy. And here are some free online SEO programs. You can also use an SEO company to boost up, boost your search engine ranking. But these companies are often expensive. Just search for SEO on Google. Here are a couple of possibilities. Before engaging any, any such companies, however, you should ask for demonstrations of their results. What size have them helped? What are these size rankings? When your new page or site has been tuned up, it's time to submit it to the search engines. Many submission services are out there, but this is something I think you should do yourself as explained in the next sections, submit only once to search. Search engine like Google, Yahoo, and MSN. Here are the URLs. As we mentioned before, submitting your pages and sites to the search engines is something we believe you should do yourself. Some submission services say they will submit your site to 500 search engines. But that's not always true. There's no one size fits all at the search engines. And the submissions would probably be a pretty poor fit to what the search engine is asking. With data field left unfilled or incorrectly filled out. And search engines might penalize people who use submission services. Here is a starter list of site submission software you can download. Some of this is not free. And in the end of these sections, we are going to show you 
an example that empower with SEO. The example page is a page setting selling a house. The main keyword should be townhouse. Now let's tackle the keywords meta elements. Let's are meta elements with the name attribute set to keywords. And the content attribute set to your keywords. I always do the main keywords first, separated by commons. Bear in mind that keywords can also be phrases. You have 1,000 characters here, so make the most of it. Don't repeat any keywords here. Look at the example shown in the slides. And next comes the descriptions, which is a meta element with the name attribute set to descriptions. And the content attribute set to a human readable descriptions of your page. Descriptions can be up to 350 words. So make the most of that. And make sure your primary keywords is at character one of the description. And use at least three of your keywords in the descriptions. Don't use any one keyword more than six times. In the body of your page, use at least five of your keywords. And make sure keywords appear early on. And put some early ones in bold. Then you will have your page with SEO implement, implemented. And this is the end of today's section. Thank you.